God damn. See, they've blocked off the entrances into the little maze. But I mean, check out those trees. Tall trees. You just about see the Alhambra behind the trees there. And then if you look a bit further, you can see, uh, well, most of Granada. Absolutely stunning, breathtaking view. Gorgeous garden. I mean, what more could you want? So, unfortunately, the Alhambra is shut. Or, the tickets are sold out, I can't remember. So, you're only allowed on the gardens, which is a bit of a, a bit of a piss take, seeing I'm only here for 24 hours, but it is what it is. But the gardens are looking very nice, though. Very nice indeed. So the garden complex is supposed to be very big in general because this was the, I don't know, the local lord's own private gardens. Over here now in another section of the garden, there are loads of rose petals. Roses of all kind. You've got pink ones. You've got purple ones. You've got the whites. More pinky purple ones. Crossover, crossovers, and obviously the traditional roja, roja roses. Okay, so I'm in a really cool position. So this must be one of the promenades of the garden. So if you check it out here, check that. So I'm now standing in probably the most iconic place in Alhambra. So this is the famous garden. Part of the famous garden. So you can see behind me, you see all that uh, original Arabic architecture and scripture. It's absolutely stunning. kind of area as you can see around me who knows what went on here maybe some acts or maybe something of some sort absolutely spectacular but it's now when you get upstairs you see the magnitude of this place this is breathtaking unbelievable I'm not sure if this is pre-Islamic. Probably after, yeah. Okay, what's up, people? Yeah, here in Granada. Uh, well, I was only here for 24 hours. Uh, tomorrow, go to Cordoba. Uh, inside the room, getting ready, looking fresh. And as always, uh, take the hotel key, and we're gonna move in. Hotel's not that bad, it's three stars. On the fourth floor. Hopefully go out and get some dank tapas tonight. But yeah, I've got to say, uh, Cordoba, uh, very good place to come visit. going on around Cordoba, I must say. So when you come outside, you can see the whole or the main promenade of the city. Yeah. 
because the thing here is in Spain, everything gets active past eight o'clock onwards. More often than not. Down these back alley streets of uh, Granada, where you're going to find the best food. 